Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Tom Messner. Well, uh, tonight stepped out to uh, go fill the uh, vehicle up with some gas and uh, it was chilly out there again, Tom. Although not as bad as some of these nights, huh? No, not as bad, but still. <laughs> You could yeah, feel I mean a little bit. We've got the wind picking up just a tad right now and tomorrow by later in the day I think it's going to be even on the breezy side. We've got a little bit of snow out there tonight. Not a ton. If you take a look at what's going on over here in St. Lawrence County, uh, the Doppler may be missing some of this because it's disappearing awfully quickly here. But just be aware, maybe parts of uh, well, Essex County in northern New York may be getting clipped with a little bit of action. We'll continue to watch that for you. Let's say we go to Montpelier. The state house is there and the wind is not much of a factor and things are looking good and there's not much going on. We've got clouds there still. Just a five mile an hour wind, 26 degrees. These temperatures, not too bad. I mean, 30 in Plattsburgh, 26 Montpelier, yes, but even down towards Springfield, quite a bit warmer than that, 35, 36 in Bennington. Hey, the weekend is coming. Let's say we take a stab at it a little bit early for you this week. It's going to be mostly cloudy on Saturday, 25 degrees. I think Sunday, the brighter of the two weekend days, partly sunny and 26. So that is unseasonably cool. It's supposed to be a little bit warmer this time of year. But as we take a look at the long range outlook, here's the thing. In the short term, we've got the jet stream that goes south of us, puts us in a trough. And when you're in a trough, it is cold this time of year. That is in the short term, but watch how things change. We get under a ridge here, which means it's going to be a lot milder. So yeah, we're talking temperatures up near 50 degrees on the second half of the 10 day forecast. And you'll see that in about a minute from right now. All right, this is tonight and things are starting to clear out at least overnight. If they haven't for you, they will in the next few hours. And then we see a lot of sunshine early tomorrow. More clouds by later in the day, especially to the north and in the northern mountains. I think we're going to find some snow showers around. And then even in the valley, the Champlain Valley to the north, we may by Friday morning. If we do, not going to last very long. I do think Friday turns out to be a mostly cloudy day with some snow up in the northwest part of the Adirondacks, also down the spine of the Green Mountains. Not a ton, but a few inches here and there. And then by the time we get into the weekend, look at Saturday. That's going to be a mostly cloudy day with more sunshine the day after that. So for tonight, it's going to be cloudy. Few snow showers around. Not seeing much on the radar now, except for over in St. Lawrence County. Look for lows in the teens, at least for most of us. And then tomorrow, sunshine, more clouds rolling in by later in the day. 20 degrees, Morrisville, Stowe at 20. 25 in Burlington and we've got clouds by the afternoon late afternoon really northern New York as well teens as you get near the Adirondacks will throw Malone in there and 23 degrees Plattsburgh I think throughout the day it's going to be mostly sunny to the south I don't think we'll see clouds later in the day Springfield at 30 Ludlow 26 Plymouth at 27 so the Champlain Valley 25 to just 20 degrees on Friday wind picking up it's a northwest wind so a little bit brisk around here tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night Saturday mostly cloudy 25 26 on Sunday it's brighter that day then we start to turn a corner we go from 37 Monday to 47 on Tuesday that everybody is a 51 <laughs> Wednesday 47 Thursday still in the 40s next Friday